application of using the group transform. We'll use the film table as the source for a new data link query. We'll give the data link the name films categorized by length. In the transforms, we're going to remove the filter, which is automatically placed there, and we'll add a mapping transform. Within this mapping transform, we're going to attempt to categorize the length, which is just a straight length, into groups. We'll use a standard function in the categorize ones called range categorize. We'll use the length as the main input into this function. We'll add a series of parameters, which we're going to use for the lengths. And we'll group these into 30 minute segments. So movies that are less than 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120, 150, and 180. And we'll put the output into a column called length category. We'll apply. We'll just have a quick look at what the output of that looks like. And as you can see, the length category, 60 to 120, has been used to categorize each of these lengths. Now for the grouping, we'll add a group transform. Okay, and in the group inputs, which is how we'll group it, we'll group it by the release year and the length category. Then we'll just use we'll just create one aggregate function to count that as a simple example. So we'll count the film IDs and we'll add that and put into a new column called count. For now I'll turn off allow unmapped input columns to pass through to the next transform and we'll preview that. As you can see we have the films categorized uh, within the categories we specified and the counts available there. If we wanted to see those counts added to the original records we could turn this back off, allow unmapped input columns to pass through, which that allows us to see the original records come through. And we'll just add a mapping to clean up the number of columns we'll see there. Uh, and we'll use the release year, the length category, the count, and the film title to see what we're looking at here. So this will show us the title and the counts by each category for each film. And we just need to turn off the allow and map columns to go through. And you'll see you have the original title, the length category that it fits into, and the number of other films that also fit within that category. Thank you for listening.